Hey, welcome to another episode of Wix Fundamentals for the Wix user. Today we're going to go over schema. Uh, what is schema, how to use it in Wix, and how to generate your own, uh, your own schema code as well. So what is schema? Schema, uh, looking at the definition from uh, semrush.com, a little side note, if you have never checked out SEMrush, check it out. It's a, a great resource when it comes to doing all kinds of uh, search engine optimization and some tips and tricks. It has some really good articles. According to schema, uh, according to SEMrush, schema is a structured data vocabulary that defines entities, actions, and relationships on the internet, including web pages, emails. Etc. This vocabulary makes it possible for search engines to understand the meanings behind subject matter on the web and in turn serve a better user experience for internet users. As Google continues to build a more somatic web, these markups become increasingly valuable and effective internet communication. So really what does that mean? Schema, if you think of your sitemap kind of as your map, any type of map that you would look at, schema is more of your your, light, your points of interest. So it helps dial down a little bit more intricate into your site. So uh, you can have, whether you have a general site schema, which is more based on just your business, uh, your business name, address, all that stuff. You can also have product schema. So schema can be used um, for your specific products or your specific services as well. Okay, so let's first take a look at how to generate your schema code. So there's various different uh, schema code generators out there. What I use is I use uh, microdatagenerator.com. There's, like I said, numerous ones out there. This is the one that I find to be, be useful. Um, you, can you can see on the side, side here that they have different shortcuts depending on what your business is. A lot of times I find that a lot of the businesses that I'm doing this for, even for my own business, doesn't necessarily fit in this, and that's okay. They give you a general um, general code generator right from the start. So if you fill this out, fill out your business name, fill out as much as you can. That's a, the key to schema. Fill out as much as you can, be as specific as you can, and then go from there. So we fill all this out, including our hours of, op uh, hours of operation, our payment types, if you take different types of payment, it's going to generate this little code over here. All we're going to do is copy this code and we'll go into our editor. So all I did was I opened up the editor, went to my pages, manage pages, went to my home page, the SEO, so you have your general SEO, which we've talked about already. Now I'm going to go into the advanced SEO. So the advanced SEO is a little bit more dialed down. So now we have structured data. So all we're going to do is basically copy the code that we got from the schema generator into this box here. Okay. Once we're done, we're going to check our data for errors. Once we do that, it's going to bring up Google's structured data testing tool. Pretty cool little tool. It's going to automatically put that code in that we have. And it's going to validate for us. So the only thing error that I came up with is a value for an image image file or image field that is required. And that's just, I don't have an image that I wanted to use. So I never put one in. But you can basically see all the information regarding our memories in motion. Okay. So this basically dials down a little bit further into Google for finding um, people finding my services. So schema itself if you just do schema, it will not make your rankings any higher. But a using schema will, will help Google figure out who you are, what you do, uh, the products that you offer. There's also, uh, in, a, in your Wix editor, you'll also, if you have your different products, you'll be able to do the same thing for your product pages. Highly recommend doing that for your product pages. If someone looks for something, um, and Google finds that you're, you're a match, you might actually uh, pop up in the, the what they call the rich snip, snippets. The rich snippets are if you do a uh, Google search and you 
basically either see a um, if you ask a question the questions asked and the questions answered on the Google search page there's a rich snippet if you search for a specific product and it actually shows it on the Google search that is also a rich snippet a quick little side note on schema and some of the things I've been reading online be careful with your schema if it answers questions the simple fact that they're finding that a lot of users aren't actually going to a website if the schema answers the question on the search engine so be a little skeptic I guess is the word um, on having your answers uh, show directly on the rich snippets um, if you find that your answer may lead your client to click on your site that's definitely a plus but if your user gets its answer directly from the rich snippet and does not click on your site that schema really isn't helping you too much so uh, just a little side note on schema, on schema. Um, another little side note just on the YouTube channel there is a new email for uh, this channel I'll post it at the bottom of the of the, uh, of the video as well as in the description uh, the email is now going to be info at wixfundamentals.com I have not actually created the wixfundamentals.com website yet I'm still working on that um, designing your own site is I swear 10 times harder than designing your own site than designing a site for somebody else so um, just bear with me I will get that site uploaded uh, when I do get that site uploaded what I'm planning on doing is actually having all of the videos on the site as well as well as a uh, form on there to um, post for questions uh, but until then just use uh, Wix at, I'm sorry info at wixfundamentals.com to uh, reach out ask any questions you may have and I will uh, answer the questions on in a video uh, give me some good ideas for for upcoming videos and uh, do not forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, make sure to uh, click on that good old bell underneath the video here read or and watch uh, the other videos that I've created so far and again if you have any ideas if you have any uh, problems that you're running into don't hesitate to reach out info at wixfundamentals.com also check out our Facebook page uh, Wix Fundamentals for the Wix user on Facebook and have a great night